How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews back with yet another review, and it is a uh, brown ale time in the form of Wellington Brewery's um, Terrestrial India Brown Ale. Um, had this before once at uh, Albino Rano uh, Beer Festival in Toronto a couple weeks ago, and uh, kind of liked it. So um, I procured a couple bottles um, from Wellington. Thank you very much, and uh, can't wait to review it. So here we go. As far as what it says in the bottle. Terrestrial India Brown Ale, um, it's 5.9% alcohol by volume. Strong beater. Um, this unique hybrid beer strikes a beautiful balance of roasted malts, aromatic hops, and bringing together the rich malt complexity of English style brown ale with a five varieties of American style hops Chinook, Sentinel, Cascade, Sriracha Ace, and Amarillo. Terrestrial India Brown Ale is a dark mahogany brown in color and delightfully hoppy aroma. Robust malt body and pronounced bitter finish. After winning gold medal in the 2012 Canadian Beer Awards, we're happy to bring this beer back for spring 2015. Um, yeah, so there you go. 57 IBU. Uh, like I said, 5.9% alcohol by volume. And it was packaged on March 18th, 2015. And this is oh, May 14th. So, yeah. There you go. Label wise, it's cool. I dig all the Wellington stuff. Their logo, everything about it. Um, I love the fact that they give you a 750 girl style top bottle. Um, totally homebrew wise, growler wise, whatever. It's fantastic. And I think this beer, I don't even know, I think it's less than $10 Canadian up there. So you're getting a 750 of what I hope for is a really nice beer, from what I remember. And like a girl style top bottle, you can't freaking go wrong with that stuff. So yeah, let's see what she has to offer. I like me some English brown ales, man. It's uh, English ales are a fave of mine. Throwing a little bit of American influence. We'll see what happens. There we go. Two fingers. Nice creamy color, like oh, just dark, hair darker than khaki color. Pretty uniform, small, maybe a sporadic medium bubble strout, and really nice creamy top to it. Color wise, I mean, it's brown. You can glean a little bit of color through it, but I mean, you really have to hold up the light to get some some color in it. So it's definitely a brown ale. Let's see what she has to offer in the news. It's equal parts. Nice, sweet, roasted malts combined with that hot presence is there. You definitely just get this, um, I don't want to use the word buttled, but a nice big, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Multiple hop notes. It's not just singular, like, um, you know, citrus or pine or mango or this. It's very all over the place. It's kind of a good thing. It's just bold hops. Rich malts, exactly what it says on the label. So, yeah. She smells nice. She looks beautiful. Let's see what she tastes like. Cheers. And exactly what you get in the nose is what you get in the mouth. Really nice, rich, robust, very strong malt for its ABV combined with a Perfectly balanced, big hop finish. Not even just finish throughout the whole thing. Up front, first thing that hits you is make sure that malt and hops. It's almost like a um, slight citrusy hop. Combine once you get to the middle to the rear. Malt's still there, it's starting to fade away, then you get this. Nice piney malt, you know, it just finishes bitter and pretty damn clean. Nice, um, decent medium mouthfeel on it, nice fluffiness to it. Um, yeah, it's not too shabby of a beer, I dig it. Taste bigger than 5.9% to me. If you put this in front of me and you're like, how much ABV is in this? I'd probably push it right around 8. So, yeah. Tastes bigger uh, than what it is. With Joey's bonus with a uh, with beer, so yeah, not too bad of a uh, of an offering for a Wellington a brewery. I am actually getting a uh, quite a soft spot for, it. not just because they uh, hooked me up some beers because I actually like them. Yeah, so there you go. Um, rating wise, I'd give it a not 89 overall. Really nice beer in general. Really nice brown ale. The American twist on it is definitely there in spades, um, but I think it works. So, I'm a fan. So, uh, 89 overall, value and availability. Not sure what these go for. Like I said, 
I'm assuming based off of what I've bought stuff at LCBO is 5.9%, 750 Like that's probably anywhere between seven to ten dollars Canadian. If that's the case, then I would give it like an eight or a nine in a value scale and availability. That's the thing, you know. You have to go to Ontario to get it. So if you're in the United States, you kind of poop out of luck unless you live in other state, New York, and you just hop over to Canada and go to the LCBO and knock yourself out. So there you go. Wellington's Terrestrial uh, India Pale Ale um, or India Pale Ale, India Brown Ale. Um, really nice beer. I mean, if you're into English brown ales, but you want a little bit more of a hot presence, and you want a little bit of more American touch to it, and if you just want to try beer from a brewery, like I said, that is kind of knocked out of the park as far as I'm concerned, up there in uh, El Canada, um, definitely pick it up. So there you go. Uh, another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, if you'd like to check us out anywhere else on the internet, you can. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, Massive Beers, and all four of those places. And yeah, another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice Americanized English ale. Brown ale right now. And uh, hopefully see you next time. Cheers.